We are here in Fort Worth, Texas, former home of April Wilkerson, asking people on the street what they think about the rumors that April may have stolen plans from Jay Bates. But there's nobody here. She does play golf. How do you respond to the rumors that April Wilkerson stole her plans from Jay Bates? I have no idea what you're talking about. How do you respond to the rumors about April Wilkerson? I don't even know who April Wilkerson is. Uh, I don't know who April Wilkerson is. If you did, what would you think? I think that's pretty crazy. What do you think about April? April, the month. Who's April? Do you think stealing is wrong? Yes. How do you feel about stealing? Uh, it's all right if you don't get caught. Welcome to Worst Workshop. I'm David, I'm here with Little Bit, and today we're gonna build April Wilkerson's portable chair or something like it. Let me show you what this thing is about. As soon as I saw the build video for this chair, I knew that I had to build one just like it. I mean, look at it. It's just the coolest little chair ever. And I thought how original and creative she was to come up with this incredible design. Oh, but that was before. That was before I knew she wasn't the first one to build this. See, here's Jay Bates's chair that's strikingly similar. Of course, they both have designs for this chair, but I wanted to get to the bottom of the whole thing. Get it? Bottom? Chair? Anyway, so I decided that I was going to come up with my own design and just work through the elements until we figured out what this thing really was. Step one, mill and dimension the slats. Now this table saw I've had since I think around my senior year of high school, and it has been, okay, I have mixed feelings about this. I call it death trap because, well, it's a death trap. It's about everything you could imagine could be bad with a table saw. But some of you will be happy to hear this sound that's coming up. I flipped the switch, checked the breaker, but she wouldn't turn on again. Farewell, death trap. Thank you for never chopping off any of my appendages. Now it just so happens that this year for Father's Day, my family found this old craftsman table saw that I'd just gotten into the workshop. But this whole garage is run off of a single extension cord from the house running into one 15 amp breaker. So I checked the weather and decided this was a perfect day for doing electrical work and digging a trench in the heat. Let's do this. I started with a shovel, but as you can imagine, that did not last very long. So we went down to Home Depot and rented a trencher. If you've never worked with one of these before, let me see if I can describe it to you. It's kind of like trying to win a tug of war while you're wrestling with a bunch of 10 year old boys. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you're concerned that I don't look quite camera ready, well, I did take time to fix my hair. We returned the trencher and I guess this is a good time to thank those of you that have supported us on GoFundMe. Wire is expensive. In fact, all of this stuff is crazy expensive. Right now, we've raised between six and $700, and I cannot thank you guys enough. We need to raise about $1,200 more to put an air conditioner in the shop so that I can feel safe bringing the girls in there knowing that they won't have problems with heat exhaustion, heat stroke, all that stuff. I'm gonna link our GoFundMe below, and no pressure, but if you'd like to donate, we would love you for it. I mean, we love you anyway. You're awesome, but that would be so great. So check it out and thank you in advance for your help. Oh, and since I was there anyway, I picked up some one by twos because otherwise I was just cutting two by fours into the same shape anyway. Interestingly enough, a lot of what I've learned about electrical has come from watching April Wilkerson's videos, but my biggest help on this project was an electrician named Dave. Dave watched a video and offered to help. In return, he got about 100 emails. Thanks for keeping me alive, Dave. Here is the moment I unplugged the cord that's powered the workshop for six years. And here's a little bit 
Just kidding. This is what really happened. Or something like that. All right, we were building a chair. Oh no, we were getting to the bottom of a controversy. Did April Wilkerson steal design plans? Does anyone really care? I made a mark at the center of a four foot two by six, two inches from the side. Now, rather than buying a template like some kind of a sucker, I decided we could make our own curves. So I grabbed my eldest daughter and put her at a fixed point on the ground, and then about nine feet away, I had a pencil tied to the end of the string. Now that makes a nine foot radius, and all I had to do was draw my line while she stayed in place. We determined that distance by me moving the pencil from the mark I'd made to the corner of the board and then continuing to make adjustments with the string by trial and error until we found the perfect length, which was in this case approximately 108 inches. I did a rough cut on the bandsaw, making sure to stay outside the line, and then I smoothed it out and sort of picked my favorite curve, the one that looked most like a consistent curve, and I used that to make a starter template. Now, once I had that starter template, I used that to repeat on the left side, the right side, and then three inches up on the left side and the right side because the sides have two sides each, or four, you know what I mean. The goal here was to get one side piece that I could use as a template for the other three. So once I had that drawn, I cut it out and then shaped it to my liking, and then I was ready to start reproducing it. After I drew out and rough cut the other three pieces, I was ready to do some template routing. I didn't have any double-sided tape, so I wanted to try that trick where you get masking tape and you put super glue on there, but my super glue was all dried and hard. So then I remembered, this is outdoor furniture, so I just screw the pieces together. Why not? I put a bottom bearing template bit in the router and started to work. Now, in case you're wondering why you haven't seen kids in a while, it's because all these things are just dangerous. I don't let kids anywhere near a router. Then I had to cut a couple cross slats to hold the thing together. Oh, wait a minute. Now, you may not believe this, and I'm sure there's somebody out there that thinks I make this stuff up for views, but the mount for the motor on the new table saw shattered. So I had to figure out some way to get that motor held in place, and I used some scraps around the workshop. In the end, I don't think it was quite as good, but it's going to work for now. I carefully supervised the girls while they cut the slats, and then, lo and behold, it was time for assembly. To get the feet perpendicular to the ground, I took a board and just set it flat on the ground and drew a line on each leg. Then I cut those lines with a circular saw, added a few more slats to the back, and voila, I was done. So did April Wilkerson steal this design from Jay Bates? Obviously not. In fact, if you just search nesting chair on YouTube, you'll find a ton of these built by all kinds of folks. You can even buy the design from Rockler if you want. But let's talk for a second about April Wilkerson. I think you would be challenged to come up with anybody that's overcome more in this woodworking niche on YouTube than April. It's not just that she's a woman, but that's part of it. And you know if this is even your first video you've ever watched from me on this channel, that I care about that. But it's also that you can really see huge development from her earliest videos until now. She has become an amazing woodworker, and I think she already had great design chops, but one thing that I've learned from this is 
this is really more about design than it is building. This chair, you can build it, believe me. With whatever tools you've got, I think you can build this chair. But could you design it as well as April and make it as easy to follow along as her? I don't think so. I know that I had a lot of challenges, even with my experience in woodworking, to pull this thing together. And I probably wouldn't have been able to do it if I hadn't have had lots of good reference videos to go back to. But if I were to do it again, and I wanted to really build this chair well, the first place I'd go is to April Wilkerson's website and I would buy those plans. Shoot for $10, I could have saved a lot of time. So I'm gonna link to her plans down in the description of this video. If for whatever reason you somehow don't know April Wilkerson, go check her out. And I hope to see you next time on Worst Workshop.